should I do behind the ear or like this? What is up, King Killers? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I got this install. I'm wearing some new inches from Icy Hair. I'll leave all the specs in the description box down below to this hair, but I believe this is a 26 inch loose wave texture. It's super easy to manage. Spray some water in it, a little bit of leave-in conditioner, and you're ready to go. Perfect for the summer because it's super hot outside. I'm super happy with the way that it came out, y'all. Usually, whenever I try to do my installs on camera, they just never come out good. I don't know if it's because I'm recording and then trying to focus on doing the hair at the same time. I never can get it right. But I'm super proud of myself today because I think I did a pretty good job on everything. I got a little scared for a little bit because the glue wasn't turning clear and then you could see the white and all that and it just wasn't, it wasn't given. So I waited a little bit and I let it melt into the skin. This is all about trusting the process. By the way, I don't know what my fingernails is given in this video. Well, I do know what they're giving. They're giving, I need to go get them done. So don't mind my nails in this video, y'all. This video is gonna be part of my maintenance um, appointments type video. So I am gonna go get my nails done tomorrow, but you know, we gotta have the hair done too Can't have the nails without the hair or the hair without the nails So doing my hair in today's video and then I'm also gonna be getting my nails done tomorrow Which you'll get to see all of that footage when my weekly vlog goes up. So stay tuned for my weekly vlog I'm trying to stay consistent with vlogging. I think um the more I've been doing it I've been getting used to just taking my camera with me wherever I go so that used to be a struggle for me because I would take my camera and then forget to vlog. But I feel like the more that I keep doing it, I'm starting to remember like, don't forget to vlog. Also, I wanted to show y'all what I got in my Icy Hair box. This is the Princess Luxury Hair Collection. Love their packaging, so freaking cute. When you get this box in the mail, it's just, it's just gonna automatically already start making you feel like, okay, I think I'm getting my money's worth. You know what I mean? I'm all about packaging. So in the inside of the box, I've already kind of taken everything out so it might not look as presentable as it did when I first got it. But it came with this silk bag that says Icy Hair Princess Series. And this will be perfect for me to use. If I want to take a break from wearing this wig, I can just put it in this bag. So also in my wig box, it came with a bonnet. Can never have enough bonnets, y'all. I love my bonnets. Nine times out of 10, I'm wearing one of these if I'm in the house. So inside the bonnet, which is also a drawstring, by the way, I forgot to say that. If you're a wild sleeper, you ain't gotta worry about it slipping off your head in the middle of the night because it has a drawstring on it. But it also came with these two little clips, butterfly clips, also a wig cap in here. I didn't use this one just because I already have so many. It came with a edge brush, also has a little manual with instructions on how to install the wig. And then we also have some lashes. And these actually look like good lashes. You know how sometimes when you get your wigs and they put lashes in there and it's like the lashes that nobody wears, like the super thick band, not cute lashes. Well, these actually look cute, y'all. So, and the packaging is cute too, so. I see hair definitely puts little gifts in there that you can actually use. I hope y'all enjoy today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, please, cause y'all be slacking on my hair videos. We need to help me get the views up, help me get the likes up on the hair videos, okay? Hope y'all enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get straight into it, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm starting off by taking my foundation, whatever foundation you use for your face, you can use it for your wig cap. I didn't show myself putting on my wig cap just because I just think it's so repetitive and there's plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to put on your wig caps. And then I've been doing this little new technique where all you have to do is cut a little slit in the back of the wig cap, divide it into two sections, and you can make a little knot at the back so you don't have to worry about sewing down the wig cap. It's just quicker, easier, especially if you don't plan on having your wig on for too long. And I've already bleached the knots and everything. Um, some parts did get a little over bleached, so y'all see later in the video I did have to go in and fix that a little bit but I ain't gonna lie sometimes I rather have my wig 
over bleached then still have those black knots showing you know what i mean and then y'all know that little piece of lace that be at the back of the wig i just went ahead and cut that off and now i'm just putting the wig on my head seeing what we're working with i'm not even gonna lie i did not pluck this wig at all like zero plucking thankfully this wig already had a very natural hairline you know you got a good hot comb when it's got all them burn marks on it so next i'm just taking the hot comb and hot combing all the hair back so we don't have any baby hairs or flyaways getting in the way once we lay this wig down and i really just tried to get this as flat as i possibly could the flatter the better so just want to go over as many times as you can to get the hairline flat now i'm just cutting my little ear tabs um and i like to clip the hair back when i do the ear tabs just so you can get a better idea of how much lace you need to cut off so now that my ear tabs are cut off we can start applying the lace i'm using some hair glue from hair queen la usually i love this glue but i don't know what happened today i don't know if i put too much or what but i let it sit for a long ass time y'all and it just would not turn clear it just stayed white for a long time so y'all will see in a second usually would not put the lace over the glue while it's still white i usually try to wait till it's clear but it just would not turn clear so i went ahead and just put the lace on just hoping that a miracle would happen i also even tried to go in with a blow dryer on cool air i said blow dryer <laughs> try to go in with the blow dryer on cool air you don't want to use hot air to try to get it to turn clear as well and that still didn't work and y'all will see as soon as i put the lace on and i let it sit for a little bit it did start to turn clear so i guess it just took longer than the other times i've used this glue i don't really know what happened but now that the wig is on i know y'all it looks crazy you just gotta trust the process okay trust the process now I'm just going in with some scissors and I'm cutting in like a zigzag motion because you don't want that straight line on your lace. It'll just make it way too obvious and we're trying to give scalp. So I know y'all, it's looking real crazy. Okay, just wait to the end, just wait to the end, okay? I promise it's gonna come together because I was thinking the same thing you thinking right now, like what is going on? So as y'all can see in this clip, the glue is slowly, slowly but surely going away. I went in with a little bit of bronzer over the lace and that helped out as well. So yeah, y'all see how I just parted the hair. It is a little over bleached, but we'll fix that too. Um, so now I'm just parting out where I want my baby hairs to be. And I'm just using the hot comb to train the hair to go towards my face. See, look at the lace now. It looks way more melted. I just had to be patient and wait. Now I'm going in with some got to be gel and then I'm just cutting the hair to create my baby hairs. And you wanna take your time with this so it's not like a super blunt line when you cut it. And then I'm just going in with my little mini flat iron to curl it. Ever since I started using the mini flat iron, it just makes it so much easier to do your baby hairs. Then just going in with my edge brush and just shaping those out. And you just got to keep playing with them, y'all, until you get it how you want it.
so I'm also going to do my little sideburns and I'm doing the same exact thing that I just did just parting out the amount of hair that I want to use for the sideburns <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my hot comb then I'm just going in with my scissors cutting the hair using the flat iron doing the little swoop curl doing the same exact thing to the other side <music> in with the got to be gel applying that to the sideburns and then I'm just using it to do my little swoop and I wanted my sideburns to be a little bit longer and like a little curl you know what I mean okay so now moving on to the middle part so as y'all can see, like I said, it's over bleached. So the first thing I did was put on some flat ironing spray just to add a little sheen. Then I went in with some root touch up spray. Oh yeah, I think I missed the part. I actually went in with the hot comb too after I applied the flat iron spray. I don't know where that clip went, but yeah. I, flat, I mean, I hot combed it with the flat iron spray, applied a little bit of that touch up spray to kind of get rid of the over bleaching of the knots. And then I went in with some concealer to fix it up. And now I'm going in with the Got To Be Free spray, putting this back on the lace, and then I'm using an elastic band to tie down the hairline one more time just to get it even more melted. <laughs> Oh yeah, so while the elastic band is on the hair, we're gonna let that melt for a little bit. And while that's melting, I'm using some Quick Curls Cream and I'm just putting this all in the hair just to kind of add some definition to the curls, you know, bring them back to life a little bit because the hair did get a little frizzy and stuff. I'm also using a Denman brush. This really helps to add definition to curls so if you don't have a Denman brush it's the perfect brush you need for curly hair so I'm also going in with some almond oil and I'm just putting this all over the hair and I really like this oil it's my first time using this oil but it's not too heavy but it's not too light of an oil either it was like perfect it added like the perfect shine to the hair and yeah so this is the final look y'all after i took the elastic band off curls is defined super soft super flowy hair make sure y'all check out the description box to check out icy hair and i'll see y'all in the next video bye king killers Mwah. Oh, 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 oh,